Hey, what's up? And thanks for watching Top Class Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to create track presets, session templates, and effects sends in Pro Tools. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I have a session pulled up and I've already edited and organized everything. The name of the song is Stepping Stone by Storm and it was produced by Zach Zillion. There's a link in the description if you want to follow them and check out some of their music. Let's check it out. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember Back in the day you were so sweet Sweet Now every day is like a bad dream And I know it will never go back to how it used to be Between you and me So the first thing I'm going to do is insert auto-tune on my vocal track. And I like to use auto-tune pro, but you can use whichever one you have. It's important to set auto-tune to the key of the song. If you don't know the key of your song, you can download AutoKey on your phone or use another application. The retune speed will give you more of a T-Pain effect, so adjust this to fit the style of music. Vibrato either increases or decreases the singer's natural vibrato, and Human Eyes will make the vocal have a more natural sound. Do you remember what you told me? Back in the day, you were so sweet. Now every day is like a bad dream, and I know it will never go back to how it used to be between you and me. My bed's so cold, I'm all alone. I try to be everything you need. Do you remember what you told me? Back in the day, you were so sweet. Now every day is like a bad dream, and I know it will never go back to how it used to be. Between you and me. So while I was listening, I also adjusted the tracking, which is basically like a mix or a wet dry knob and it allows you to either dial in more of the real vocal or of more of the auto-tune vocal. So once you have all your plugins and everything set up how you like, you can either hold down Option and copy all of these plugins down to all of your other tracks, which as you can see, it could actually take a long time if you have a lot of tracks. Or you can right click on the name of the track and then you can select save track preset. And after you select create track preset, this window should pop up allowing you to name and organize your presets. Uh, the default location Pro Tools will save these presets in is the Avid category, but I like to keep my presets separate. And in my top class category folder, I have already saved this preset as female lead vocal. And it's important that you name these and I'll show you why later. And if you click track data to recall, you just want to make sure that clips and media is not selected. So we'll go ahead and select OK. And the tags will auto populate. And what we're going to do is select all of our tracks and then assign this preset to them. So we'll do that first by highlighting and selecting all the tracks that we want to apply this preset to. And once we've selected all of our tracks, We'll then hold down Option and Shift on a Mac. I'm not sure what it is on a PC, but we'll hold down Option and Shift and then insert a plugin and we'll just search for lead vocal female. And what this will do is automatically apply our preset. Now this window is basically saying that there's plugins on here and if we apply this preset, it's going to change them. And for this demonstration, that's okay. So once it loads all of the plugins to all of your tracks, all of your vocals will sound the exact same or at least have the exact identical plugins and settings on them. So this will speed up your workflow, but there is a preferred method that will do it much faster and much more elegantly. So what we're gonna do first is select all of our audio tracks with all the plugins on them. And it's important that we select only the tracks 
that we intend on sending to this group because we're going to deactivate the plugins that we don't want on them. Um, and we do that by using the keyboard shortcut Command, Option, Shift, Control, and then clicking the plugin that we want to deactivate. And you'll see it'll basically deactivate all the plugins um, across the inserts. So you'll see when I do that here, it'll deactivate all of these plugins. So once you've deactivated all the plugins that you don't want to keep, with all of our tracks still selected, we'll hold down Option Shift. And then on the output, we'll click on New Track. And this window should pop up. Um, and we're going to set it at Stereo Aux and name it Vocal Lead Bus. Now, sometimes Pro Tools doesn't do the routing correctly. And the easiest way to fix this is just to quit Pro Tools or restart your computer and then open Pro Tools back up and try creating tracks again and everything should work. So I'm just gonna select my tracks and make sure that the output is going to my lead vocal bus and then I'm gonna play everything and make sure that I can hear all my lead vocals. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember, back in the oh, sweet. So everything's routed correctly, and now I'm going to apply the female vocal preset to the vocal bus um, so that all of my vocals have the exact same processing. So the reason I prefer this method is because now if I make a change to any of my plugins on my lead vocal bus, I know that it'll be applied to all of my vocals and it saves me a ton of time when I'm mixing. And I'll usually take auto-tune off of the vocal bus um, and just control auto-tune on each individual track. So I'll open up Nectar and you'll notice this black box with green dots up at the top of the plugin. And that basically means that this plugin is a uh, mono plugin. And we want this to be in stereo, and it's really simple to change that. All you have to do is underneath the track section, click on the name of the plugin, and you see it's in multi mono plugin. And we can just search and type in Nectar, and we'll select Nectar 3 stereo. And most of the settings transfer over, but sometimes they don't. So try to remember what they were before you change it. So I've converted all of my plugins to stereo and now I'm going to play the song and see what it sounds like. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember back in the day you were so sweet. Sweet. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember back in the day you were so sweet. Sweet. Now every day is like a bad dream And I know it will never go back to how it used to be Between you and me So I adjusted the compressor to, uh, to have a little bit of a higher input Just because uh, the settings were different on the individual tracks versus the bus But the EQs and everything else is pretty much the exact same So next thing I'm going to do is on this intro I just want it to be different so I'm going to add an EQ and kind of go for a uh, telephone style effect. So we can do individual processing on uh, select tracks if we want to, or process everything together, just depending on what you're going for. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a vocal 
uh, effects send. And by the way, if your Pro Tools doesn't look like this and you don't see all of your insert and sends, you can click this little box here and a drop down menu will appear where you can select all of your inserts and sends. Um, I sometimes will even turn comments on just to leave little notes uh, for me so I don't forget something. So we'll just type uh, all vocals here just so we know that it's all the lead vocals. Um, even though it's in the nameplate, you can still type it here and it'll you know, help you remember. So same thing with when we're creating a vocal bus, we just wanna go into the send section and click on new track and we're gonna do the same thing, stereo vocal or stereo aux input, but this time we're gonna name it uh, lead vocal reverb. And this fader will pop up and basically this is how much signal you're sending uh, to this channel for affecting and reverb. And I'm just gonna use the default reverb plugin, which is Dverb. Um, I have a ton of other ones that I really like a lot more, but just for this example, I'm gonna use this one and I'll set it to a large plate and set a really large decay time. And I'm gonna turn this send up and down after I solo out the vocal so that you can just kind of see and hear how it's all working. Do you remember what you told me? Back in the day, you were so sweet. Now every day is like a bad dream, and I know it will never go back to how it used to be. Between you and me. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember. Back in the day, you were so sweet. Sweet. So now if I want to add some delay, I do the exact same thing. Go to send, new track, stereo aux, lead vocal delay. And I'm going to use the default delay plugin, which is mod delay three. And I'll set it on either a, a half note or a whole note, um, just depending on what I'm going for. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember. Back in the day, you were so sweet. Sweet. Now every day is like a bad dream, and I know it will never go back to how it used to be. Between you and me. My, my. So we got all of our plugins and our routing and everything, and let's say we're really happy with it, and we kind of want all of our songs to sound like this. Then what we can do is go to file and click save as template. And this window will pop up where you can organize and create folders. Um, in this scenario, I'm just going to call it vocal chain template. And you want to make sure include media is not selected and we'll hit OK. And then we'll hit command N to bring up our new session window where we can then go into our template section and select the template that we just created. And I like to record it 24 bit, we'll press okay. And now we have a brand new session with all of our routing, our naming, color coding, and plugin presets and everything ready to go. So let's say you make some changes to your template and you wanna save those. Well, it's just as simple as creating a new template. You'll go to file, save as, and let's say hypothetically you wanted to uh, keep the same name. You'll just make sure the name is selected and hit OK and you can overwrite those settings and your session will be uh, ready to go. So something I forgot to mention uh, is when you're using Autotune and trying to record, uh, Autotune causes latency and you'll see that over in the mix window. You see this value down here which is just describing how many uh, milliseconds of delay there is. So to get rid of that in Autotune, you'll go to the settings and select use low latency. And there's a couple other plugins that are causing some latency here. So I'll disable those and you'll see that the track delay 
will go down once I deactivate those. So now it's down to 112, which is a lot better to record with than 700 or 1000. And now I will engage it and you'll see that now everything uh, is working and I have my templates and everything like that. So that's how you create track presets and session templates in Pro Tools. And once you understand how all this stuff works, you will get much more organized and much faster at creating music. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Do you remember what you told me? Remember, remember. Back in the day. Like a bad dream and I know it will never go back to how it used